I want to introduce our guest speaker today, Candy Turner. Candy was an elementary teacher in our district for 22 years and retired in 2016. Thank you for joining us, Candy. Thank you for having me. We'll start with one question. What was your favorite thing about teaching in West Bonner County School District? It was seeing the light in a child's eye when they accomplished something and knew they could keep going with it and see that there were extra opportunities for them to grow. It always brought tears to my eyes when those little kids would uh, see something they could do and accomplish and just want to go for more and more. Thank you. Can you share a favorite memory from your time teaching? Oh my God, I don't know if I could. I think one of my favorite memories is always the first day of school. When you get to see them the first time and you get to see them individually without parents there or anyone there and the excitement they have, but also how scared they are and to make them feel by the end of the day that everything was gonna be okay and that they wanted to come back. I always told my kids, I want this to be a happy place because you have 12 years of this and it starts here right now. How would you rank the connection between community support and schools and student achievement? Well, we have to have the community support in order to have our schools grow. And for our schools to grow, our kids need to grow. So it's very, uh, it's very important. It's extremely important that our community is behind our schools and that our schools become a part of our community. We have to work hand in hand to give these kids the opportunities that they need to go out into a global world that we now have. Finally, you were a teacher before and after levies were an essential part of our funding. What major difference did you see when the funding mechanism shifted? Well, I think I've seen that not only did the fundamental funds shift, but we've seen a lack of legislator and state support. And that was always hard to take. Um, for teachers, I've seen that teachers lost classroom funding, and so they had to adapt to that. And I've seen classes being eliminated and staff being eliminated. I remember when I first started teaching, you know, I was so excited to get two aides in my classroom, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, to help with the 26 kids that I had. By the time I quit teaching, I, I didn't see aides as much as we used to have them, and that's all comes from funding, and that's very important to a teacher to have somebody in there with their students and helping them along. So the funding has been a big impact, and unfortunately, when you start taking money from school districts and then you don't get the support of the community, you start losing funds, staff, you start losing community support. Thank you for your time today. Do you have any final messages? Just that it's a very tough time I know right now but not only is it tough for us, it's tough for these kids. And we have a global world out there now. And these kids need every opportunity, starting at the very primary kindergarten level, all the way up through high school and then on to college, to have all the opportunities we can give them to make a good choice out in the global world. And we need that in this community. This community is growing. And we need to have the support of our community to help it grow and to help our schools grow to be the best that we can be. Thank you. You're welcome.